Murray and Brent Sancho. So very welcome, warm welcome to you gentlemen. Now we are surrounded by a lot of football excitement. We have the World Cup excitement going on and of course the Coca-Cola Intercall excitement which are featuring some of the future stars of Trinidad and Tobago football. Yes, yeah, certainly the future stars. The World Cup have ha has had its upset so far. I'm sure my good friend Colin Murray would be a bit upset. His Argentina's already lost. And I think your second team as well, Colin, no, lost no, as well, Germany. No, no, oh, no, no. Germany is not Canada. my second But, but it has but been a, a really. terrific start to the World Cup. We've seen some very exciting football. Of course, it's been a World Cup of underdogs so far. These young men would have been watching these games and would like, of course, today to emulate what they've seen so far in Qatar. Oh yeah, no doubt. And, and when you think of Tunisia holding Denmark, you look at Morocco, um, a, a Poland drawing with Mexico, it's been a, a whole series of upsets. And of course today though, our CONCACAF neighbours hammered Costa Rica <laughs> by, by Canada. Yeah. But it's exciting yeah. so far. I'm looking forward to the rest of the World Cup. Now, bringing it back to the intercall a little bit, we have some of our zonal finalists who have already been crowned. Just a quick recap, last week, Tuesday, we had Signal Hill that would have been triumphant over Mason Hall. A 5-4 win after drawing a one all up to their, in their regula regulation time. And then secondly, we had Karapachima with their seventh win as the central zone winners, defeating... Shagonis North Secondary, as I said, this is the seventh time they are holding the Central Zone title. And of course, Fatima College winning the North Zone against Queen's Royal College up to a few days ago. Colin, I want to I start with you with that one. <laughs> no, no, I mean, you know, it, it's going, I think it's going according to plan, except maybe for Tobago. Uh, you, you look at uh, Tobago, um, I, I'm a little surprised Mason Hall, oh, sorry, Signal Hill got in there, beating Mason Hall, and there was no space side. So you're looking at those uh, national quarterfinals, uh, this... Karpachima East, they're going up against the winners of South. That game is on Friday. Fatima College, they're opposing the winners here today. Um, and, uh, you know, then you have the winner of the quarterfinal um, between Carib Caps and uh, Signal Hill opposing uh, the South winners. Of course, much thanks, uh, Colin. Now let's bring it back a little bit to today's matchup for the East Zone final. We have Sawa North Secondary versus Trinity College East. Now these two teams would have been matched up earlier in the SSFL Premiership, right? But Sawa North would have been, well, they remain unbeaten in the group stage. And they would have walked away with a 1-0 win against Trinity College East, thanks to Larry Noel. Yeah, when you talk about Sanborn North, it's an interesting fact that since, that since Jerry Moore has been here at this school since 2014, he's only lost this once, this East Zone Intercon final. Since then, he has won it. This is a trophy he is very comfortable with and familiar with. But this Sanborn North team in particular with Larry Noel and Sweet, that combination has been difficult to solve so far. Of course now, coming into this one, it's a final. It's an Intercon final we've seen so many times. And of course, in the World Cup, where upsets have reigned supreme. Can we have an upset here today? I'm not sure, but I do think that what San Juan North presents, both tactically and in terms of the quality within their squad, they might be a little bit too much for Trinity College East. I'm, I'm going to go against you, actually, Brent, because I think Trinity East, they've got a good chance. Um, they're going to come out here. They've not won the, the East Zone uh, intercall. So they're going to come here and really fight. They've got some quality players. I think Foston up front is going to present huge problems for the San Juan North defense. My, you know, you're, you're looking at uh, San Juan North, Noel, and you're looking at Swede. If somehow Trinity East can nullify those two guys, I think they're in with a chance, and I do not think this is going to be a, a, a walk in the park for San Juan North. Well, we'll see what happens today. today. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, Brent, you had a chat with the coaches before today's match, so let's see what they had to say. We're now joined by coach of Trinity Colleges, Coach Dwayne Davis. Coach, final here today. What do you think you need to do to get a positive result coming out of this game? I think we need to stay focused and to, to concentrate on our game plan defensively and get, get the players in the right position on attack to cause some trouble for the Sawa defence. Of course, the first time you te two teams met was in the, the Premiership, going down 1-0 in that game. Anything in particular you need to do different in that game? Um, yeah, sometimes we gave away the ball a little too easy, so we need to be a little sharper on the ball, a little more composed. Um, we had some difficulties in that game. A couple of players didn't play in that game who will be playing today, so that's, that's a plus for us too. So. We see how it goes. Thank you very much, Coach Davis, and all the best to you and your charges. Game. 
Uh, the challenges is just basically preparation. I mean, the weather pattern this week was kind of crazy, you know. So the biggest challenge was really how we prepared. But um, besides that, I think we're going to be all right. From a tactical approach, what do you think San Juan North needs to do today to walk away victorious? Well, I think anytime there's a World Cup going on, the football standards around the world has got higher. So I think they're going to be watching a lot of the game and they're probably going to defend better. But we got to look to break them down as quickly as possible and get behind them. Thank you very much, Coach, and all Welcome. the best to you. Yeah. That was Coach Jeremy of San Juan North Secondary School. Those were head coaches Dwayne Davis of Trinity College East and Jerry Moore of Sawa North Secondary respectively on their approach for today's matchup. Now we have our exciting kickoff for today's Coca-Cola East Zone final coming up after the break. So make sure you grab your Coca-Cola, grab your snacks and get ready for an exciting game. I'm Tevin and I'm here to tell you two big things. The first thing is that Coca-Cola Intercol is back and we are ready to kick it off. Now even bigger news than that is that this year will be like no other because you and your school team have a chance to win a set of special edition Coca-Cola Intercol football shoots. Now all you have to do is join us in creating hashtag sustainable happiness throughout the competition. So here's how we use recycled plastic bottles. Like regular, that one is a hard wire for just in case. Oh wait, yeah, that's because Saunders was there before you. Welcome here to the Larry Gomes Stadium and it's the East Zone final and what a final we have in store for you. It's Sour North Secondary coming up against Trinity College East and uh, these two teams when they last met um, Sour North prevailed but only just uh, Larry Noel scored within the first five minutes of the game and Trinity East pressed for the equaliser it was not to be um, so it would give Trinity East some sort of confidence knowing that um, they were not hammered by this uh, Sawa uh, North uh, team and uh, losing by the just the one goal they may very well feel that uh, they can get back into this into this game and, and turn the tables on the Sawa North team Brent yeah when you look at uh, this format of the competition it does present uh, an opportunity for a team to seek redemption and uh, of course this uh, a similar type of scenario here where Trinity Colleges, as you rightfully said, 
uh, conceded very early in the game and of course a very waterlogged field, a fortuitous goal at best uh, and a situation that they feel they could probably rectify here in this final. Remember it's a situation where the loser goes home so for Charity College East, this is a massive game for, for them and of course uh, the ability to stay in this competition. Well here the teams are making their way out and um, they are going to be met by the dignitaries led by the president of the secondary schools football league Mr. Mireri Gonzalez as the two teams are north in their traditional green and white striped shirts and Trinity College East in yellow and blue, uh, yellow top and blue shorts. So there are the respective dignitaries going out to meet the players led by the president of the Secondary Schools League, Mr. Mireri Gonzalez. As we have uh, with him is Mr. Adish Dwarika, the chairman of the Secondary Schools East Zone. Then there's Bran Wickham, the principal of Trinity College East, Miss Arlene Chandler, she is uh, representing Sawan North, and Ainsley Cato, he is the sales manager of uh, Coca-Cola, bringing up the rear. So those are the persons meeting the players, as uh, the officials, of course, in the middle between the teams. And... Uh, meeting the captain of Trinity College East. Of course, that's Andre Providence, the one of the central defenders in front, leading the dignitaries and intro introducing the players. And uh, so a little bit of but butterflies, Brent would be in their respective stomachs. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a game I mentioned before that has, uh, of course, uh, huge ramifications on it. Simply, strictly from a seasonal perspective, if you lose here, that's the end of it for you. Uh, but, you know, you're heading a point, Colin, of course, uh, for both programs, particularly Trinity Colleges, they would be buoyed in the fact that uh, they played a Sandwood North with uh, two prolific players in Sweden and, of course, Noel, uh, and come out uh, with uh, a very slender one nil defeat and they may just feel that uh, this may be their day uh, and of course uh, the pick the pitch is in, in the near perfect condition as we have a look at the officials of course uh, fourth official Jassy McDonald the ARs are Miguel Joseph and Adrian Co Coilas of course the referee is Andrew Samuel yeah and uh, when you look at the contrasting uh, pitch conditions from both teams Colin I think it would make for a very interesting encounter there's no doubt uh, about that and um the, the, the pitch looks in really good condition, I must admit. I mean, they, they, we've been having so much rain, the entire country, um, nowhere is spared really. And uh, even coming up here today, there was a, a bit of a shower, there was a drizzle. Well, that has subsided and we have really nice weather now. Um, just a little bit of a grey cloud hanging around, but um, you know it doesn't seem that we're going to get a uh, rain. Let's have, let's have a look at the starting lineups for the team. We'll start with Trinity College East. Of course, Brandon Dalrymple in goal as per usual. There's Daniel, Barnwell, Whiteman, Cruel, Providence, Prince, Frank Williams, Faustin, Figaro, Riley, and the coach is uh, ex ex Fatima student Dwayne Davis. Well, uh, we expect them, uh, of course, to set up in a four. 3-3 formation defensively they would take a 4-5-1 shape expect of course Corral and Figaro to give support to defense it's how quickly can the likes of Frank Williams etc gets the ball into that danger man's feet in Jahim Faustin and let's have a look at the starting lineup for the Samoan North team there's Haynes in goal and there's uh, Lewis this is Joshua Lewis um, there's Black Haynes Noel Sween Joseph Mitchell the other Lewis Desai Lewis there's Kent Guy um, Jones and um, Christian Brown and the coach is Jerry Moore let's have a look at the formation Brent well they would play in a 4-1-4-1 scenario of course Sween plays a little ahead of Jones, Brong and Thomas and that danger man up there Larry Noel the leading scorer for Sanmo North the prolific striker and the one that all eyes will be on here this afternoon 
Well, we're just about getting ready for the kickoff here at the Larry Gomes Stadium. Seems that Sawa North, no Trinity East, is uh, going to kick off here. They're going to kick off the proceedings. Well, I just saw the referee doing some maintenance there on the side of the pitch already, moving the, the Tiger Tanks uh, logo a little further back. Of course, I uh, have to say a big thank you to Tiger Tanks and uh, the support they've given to this league this season. And of course, uh, this. Uh, of course segment of the tournament is uh, led by coca-cola it must be some time now colin since coca-cola has been sponsoring uh, the intercom no doubt about that as uh, we're still just awaiting the kickoff and uh, we see some repairs still going on to the nets uh, brent it's uh, important uh, I remember being here at this very stadium at a tt pro league game where the ball did fly through to net, the net, uh, the two teams I was playing, and uh, the goal was never given. So I think it's uh, important repairs, albeit it may have uh, delayed us a bit, but we're off soon. Yes, uh, we're just about getting ready for the kickoff and Trinity is going all the, the way back very early to Whiteman. He plays that long ball, searching ball and chasing after it and trying to keep it in. There it uh, looks like uh, Faustin and uh, it's going to be a throw for someone North. Lewis is going to take the throw. Sending it down the right side as Brown giving chase. Uh, the referee is awarding the free kick. And uh, it's played short towards Mitchell. Mitchell plays that ball down the line. That's going to be too hard for Brown. He's not going to get there. And it's going to go out for a goal kick for Sawa North. So the so a goal kick, sorry for Trinity East. Did I say Sawa North? Why did I do that? But here is the ball played upfield. And uh, going across the headed is Lewis trying to get it to Guy. But uh, eventually it comes off of Riley Hill and it goes out for a throw for Trinity East. So the throw sent upfield, again looking for Hill, and uh, it stopped just in, inside the, the line there by Lewis. He sends it downfield looking for Noel, and Noel does get possession of it now. He's running at the Trinity's defense. This is a good run from Larry Noel, trying to play it through to Sween, and eventually it's, it's going to be cleared upfield. Hill is there in a little tussle with Guy, and uh, it's going to be a free kick for Trinity East as Guy is doing a little bit of pushing, and uh, it's going to be a free kick. So, an outstanding run there by Noel. It was, he yeah. just wondered if uh, he done enough there to slit Sween in. Well, here is the ball played out towards Prince, and he's trying to look to get that shot away, but in fact. Uh, uh, they get possession, Trinity E still holding on to that ball and a long range shot but really and truly didn't have any power in it and uh, it's picked back up by Trinity E as that ball is played uh, defensively back. The ball is with Cole in the midfield trying to get it uh, wide here to Barnwell who gets there just in time, sends it across in and uh, eventually it's picked up here by Mitchell and uh, he's in a real tussle now with Figaro it looked like so it's going to be a free kick for Sawan North Lewis is going to take it sends it downfield that's a good hit Noel is giving chase be trouble. well the keeper did well but uh, a free kick being awarded so maybe a little bit of pushing by Noel uh, Brent, but um, the, keeper, the, the yeah, keeper did well though. Yeah, he, he, did came, he did yeah. extremely well. He had to be brave and of course he had to be decisive and he was both. And because of that, uh, 
eventually got away from it. Uh, but I tell you what, we've seen Larry Noel put uh, yeah. those sorts of situations into the back of the net. No doubt about it. But here is Lewis. That's uh, towards Brong. He can't. He does well, does actually. Well, well. I thought he was going to keep it in at one stage. But uh, this is Prince looking to get it to Barnwell. Barnwell turns nicely with it. And uh, being tugged by Brong, the referee is allowing play to go on. And Crowell playing it forward. That's a good ball now played to Prince. He's trying to get it towards uh, Faustin. And the crew picks it back up as Trinity is trying to come forward with it. And uh, Lewis, that's Dice. Dice, Lewis just playing it out. And it's going to be a through for someone North. Sorry for Trinity East. So Trinity East in the yellow top and blue shorts as that ball is thrown forward. Again, Lewis plays it out. And it's going to be a through for Trinity East. Barnwell has gone forward to take the throw. As eventually played out again by Haynes. And uh, Barnwell going to probably look to take a long throw. The sun is with us here at the Larry Gomes Stadium, so that's good news. Just uh, been playing now for just about five minutes, but offside is Barnwell, and it's going to be a free kick for Samoa North. I'm already looking at the, the tactical chess game that is going on here, and of course with uh, Sween playing a bit more in tandem with Noel, it does leave Samoa North a bit short in numbers in the middle of the park, and uh, you just wonder if that could be the type of advantage that Trinity College East needs, of course, to start to build and twist and turn and get their way in this football game. Already we've seen uh, the lion's share of the second balls and, and balls in the middle of the park being won by Trinity College East. They haven't, they haven't been able to settle Sanborn North Colin. They've, uh, they've struggled a bit and, and I think a lot of it is down to that numerical advantage in the middle of the park. Certainly, the, nobody has really come to terms with the play yet. I think it's a little bit back and forth. I think Trinity's, they haven't started badly though, Brent. Um, they're trying to take the game to Samoa North. They're certainly not afraid of this uh, opposition. There's Cruel playing it back to Barnwell. Barnwell looking to get past his man, does well, plays it. A nice ball up the left side to Frank Williams. And he's trying to get inside of the defender in Haynes. And uh, the referee has indicated that it's going to be a free kick. Long ball set down by Lewis. It's well taken by Brown. He does well. Sends it back to Lewis. He's playing. That's Dasai. Lewis plays it in field uh, towards Mitchell. Mitchell sends it long forward, looking for Noel. And out comes okay, Dalrymple. It's good goalkeeper oh, again, yeah. Colin. That's right. He's he's quite willing, uh, Brent, to come off his line quickly. When, when, when you make those sorts of decisions, uh, yes, you, 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 have, right. you have to get it right. And, and he's done it on, on two occasions because it did seem that. Uh, of course, defensively, both uh, Whiteman and Providence didn't look sure about where they were, but uh, he was able to clear it up. That's good goalkeeping by, by Darumpo. Well, and you could see that Samuel North looking to play that ball over the top, trying to get Noel to run onto it. But here's Prince and Faustin giving chase, but that's good defending by Lewis. And he's playing it forward, gets it to Brown. Brown could look into turn Barnwell, is not able to do that. Comes off of Barnwell, and it's going to be a through. The throw quickly taken by Desai Lewis, gets it in uh, towards Mitchell, back to Mitchell. Mitchell is playing that ball towards uh, Sween. We haven't seen much of Sween so far in the game. Yeah, well, he's finally starting to drop into the middle of the park and, and now trying to break lines and get further ahead. But that's what I expected of him, especially in the position that he's playing in, in that uh, false nine position. Well, he's played in a 10 position, really. Well, Barnwell giving it away to Brown, and Brown comes inside between two defenders. He does well. The loose ball is picked up there by Mitchell. He gives it to, to goes left-sided with it. Uh, he's trying to get it clumsy. to Thomas, and uh, he fouls Thomas in the in the interim. Actually, that wasn't Thomas. Um, let's see. It was... Uh, Looks like Fagaro. Yeah. As, uh, so it's going to be a free kick. And no doubt Sween is going to look to hit this one. 
Well, we all know, of course, of uh, the ability of that left foot of his. It's just going to be interesting to see if he can get it on target, Colin. Uh, no, he can generate the power. But the question uh, with players of that elk is whether or not uh, they can get the direction with the power. Well, so it most likely is going to be Sween, no doubt. Let's have a look. No, it's not Sween, actually. And uh, the ball came off the wall. And uh, eventually, it's a played up field of what's Faustin. But he's harassed there by two defenders around him. One was Haynes, and the other one was uh, Lewis. So, well, I, I am speechless <laughs> because I'm shocked and not see Sween have a go at that one. It's, uh, yeah, I, it's I, the I first mean, real opportunity to have a crack and goal. And, and you, you thought yeah. they would have put... Of course, uh, probably the best technician on it. Yeah, they gave it, they, they left it for Joseph, and no, I was no a little surprised. To Joseph, no, of course, no, of course. But, uh, I think Sween would, uh, of course, may have presented more of a, a, a challenge threat, yeah. and a threat. Only they would know the players. I'm quite sure if you ask Coach Jerry Moore, you'd say, I didn't draw it up that way. That's a foul. So it's uh, going to be a free kick this time. And, and look at where Sween now is <laughs> going to take the free kick. It just doesn't make sense. But however, it's going to be Sween. We've been playing now for just over 10 minutes. So we still await the first goal here at the Larry Gomes Stadium. And uh, this is Sween. And he goes for goal, but that was a little too far out. And Dalrymple just dive into his left, just trying to make sure that uh, there was no problem. <laughs> Strange one. It was uh, probably about 10 yards closer in the, the last free kick and he didn't take it. <laughs> yes. As, uh, as they say in Trinidad Palance, the mats is not matzen. Yeah, well, <laughs> here is the ball going up the right side for Trinity East. It's with Hill. Sends a deep cross, but too close to the keeper, Haynes. And he's going to bowl it out towards Brown. Uh, Brown can't he's control to do it. Better. Yeah, he's had to do better. You would have thought he yeah. it skidded off the surface, but still never really got behind the ball. Well, well he's and, got to and, use his left foot. Yeah, <laughs> and was reaching for it, wasn't he, with that But uh, Well, he right tried foot. the more difficult yeah. skill, which is uh, the right foot. And uh, he could have easily just uh, collected it. And now his team has to defend a corner. That's right. So a corner for... Trinity East coming across to take the corner. Let's see. It seems to be Daniel, the man coming to take the corner. As is it? Well, it's not. Da is it Daniel? Yes, it looks like Daniel. So here is the corner that's a good one and that's a good save in the end because it was deep it was curling Brent into the far corner and Haynes had to go back and just pushed it out with his right hand and got there just in time well the touch kept of course the attacker coming in here comes in again Haynes was a goal call yep. it looked goal. like it looked like Prince coming in at yeah, the Prince far coming post. in at the far post but um, have had the easiest of oh, headers yeah was, was, he's in a good oh, yeah. job he, 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 the touch at the right moment wasn't it but it was a good corner deep curling as well and you have to you have to say uh, excellent work on his part I think from a San Juan North perspective there would be concern he was all alone the attacker had no one around him. Well, here's Lewis for someone North. Long ball, but um, it's going to be headed back upfield. It's with Figaro. He's playing that ball uh, towards Hill. Hill takes it down nicely, but it's intercepted here by someone North. And in fact, uh, a foul on, uh, let's see, the foul like was Sweden. committed, yeah, on Sween. So it's going to be a free kick. No goals yet here at the Larry Gomes Stadium. This is the secondary school's, uh, the Coca-Cola Intercol East Zone Final. And the winner of this meets the North Zone champions, Fatima College. So uh, let's see, it's 
sent infield by Guy, and the ball comes off the head of Barnwell, and corner. yes, goes for a corner. So a right-sided corner for Sawan North, no doubt Lindell Sween is, is going, to going across to take that corner, and yes, he is there. Settles the ball. Let's have a look at this corner. No doubt using his left foot. It's going to be curling into the towards the goal. It goes towards that far post, and uh, really and truly, it was yeah, overhead. It's, it's poor. Yeah. But, uh, again, it's the first uh, real opportunity to get the ball into the box, and it wasn't properly utilised. And uh, sometimes, Colin, these are the moments in the game that uh, come back to haunt you. That's right. And you have the opportunity to, of course, put your opponent under some sort of pressure you have to utilize it they've, well they've, they've of course turned on that opportunity twice so far well here's Faustin we haven't seen him on the ball uh, at all and uh, he's tripped so he, he gains a free kick oh, we're going into roughly 15 minutes into the game Colin it's really lack fluidity yeah and of course some sort of rhythm well neither team seem to have settled as yet Brent no. uh, are they not coming to terms at the moment with the con with the, the pitch conditions and maybe the ball seems running on a little quicker than they're anticipating yeah I did have an opportunity to walk out on the pitch and, and despite it looking uh, lush and green it's, it's still very very moist outside there and uh, you're right, I think that the control and, and errant passes is coming, not just from that, but I think in, in, in most cases, the players are just not taking their time to apply that, whether it be a good touch or, or, or a good pass. Like that situation there, where the ball trickles away from them. Well, this is Frank Williams playing that ball to Fostin. And Fostin on the go here. He is the danger man, has the shot. Never got over it. Yeah. And I keep saying, Brent, if they give this guy some room, he can make the Samoan North defense a, a pay. He got in between two defenders, had the shot. He just never was able to get over it. Let's have a look at it. Well, he comes in there. A good bit of trickery. He comes in on the right foot. Lewis comes in and he gets him past him as well. And just there when you needed that extra amount of quality and composure, it was lacking. But uh, certainly a good start by Foster. And you're right, Colin, if he's allowed the time and space, he will certainly hurt you. Just after Ox Queen's World College. <laughs> That's right. Well, here is Sween as he brought down. No, says the referee. And uh, the ball is played wide out towards uh, Hill from Whiteman. But it's picked up by Guy. Guy gets it to Joseph. Joseph looking to come in field with it. Um, he's trying to play tough, a one two. It's a tough pass. Yep. It's hit too hard. And going back to your point with the players, of course, not controlling and, and not passing the ball properly. That, there's your reason. It's, it's lacked quality, genuine quality that is needed to play on, uh, on this surface. We haven't seen it. Well, here goes Faustin. Up the left side now, looking to come in field. Brown comes back to assist his defenders. And the ball uh, goes off of the Trinity East player. It looked to be Frank Williams. And it's going to be a throw for Samoa North. Well, I think for, from a Trinity College East perspective, it's really how quickly the yellow shoots join Jaheim Foster because sometimes he does cast a very lonely soul up there. No, well, I probably some, in some occasions have to take one, two or three San Juan North players. Yes, and that's another bad ball here uh, from Jones trying to uh, find uh, They've, they've Brown. struggled, Colin, San yeah. North in, in this uh, opening exchange so far. Yeah, there's no, no sort of, um, how should I put it, fluidity at the no. moment with their game. It's a really like a, a stop start. They you know they pick a couple passes get a couple passes away and then um, then they lose the ball quickly but here comes Frank Williams for Trinity East plays that ball into the center circle there is Figaro Figaro looking for Daniel who's wide uh, Daniel picks it up now he's going to play it up to Hill Hill was a little too slow in getting to the ball and give Guy credit uh, he's well. running down that left side and uh, Whiteman had to come across the intercept but that was excellent uh, football on the part of Guy um, because Hill was waiting on the ball he attacked it and started to go down the left side and uh, certainly was away except for the intervention of uh, Whiteman so this is Brown Four trying to get again. it yep trying to get it to Noel but it's picked up in the middle by Jones and another four pass yep they're just giving away the ball but Prince finds Kroll Kroll gets it to Faustin 
Faustin coming inside with it. He's looking for some movement. Decides there's none. So he plays it to Kroll. Kroll coming forward with it. He's looking good. And plays that ball towards Figaro. Figaro to Whiteman. Wide is Daniel. And Daniel is going to look to play it back to Figaro. So they're keeping some sort of possession here. And they don't want to give it away. And as, as soon as I say that, Noel could have intercepted. But here goes Whiteman. Sends that ball up the line to Hill. Across comes Lewis. Does well. Plays it out. And it's going to be a throw for Trinity East. Coming up to nearly 19 minutes. No goals yet. And no real uh, clear-cut chances no, either. No, uh, and, Brent. and a lot of it, as you mentioned, is, is down to the stop start type of affair we've had so far. As I mentioned, Colin, you, you, sometimes you wonder the impact that jitters and nerves have in this one. But uh, it certainly lack quality. Well, uh, I, I can reassure our viewers that uh, we've seen quality from both teams well, before in the past. That's for sure. That's for sure. So maybe it's uh, just the occasion. Well, it's a final, and uh, sometimes you just have to say final, and, and players get a little. <laughs> they get uh, not only butterflies; they get uh, more than butterflies. <laughs> but it's uh, going to be a throw for Sawan North. Lewis has come down to take the throw. The right back. Desai Lewis, of course there's Joshua Lewis as well. So here is the throw sent infield and Noel goes up with the head but it's cleared up field by uh, the skipper Providence and Prince now in a battle here for it but he loses the battle and in fact Kroll picks up the loose ball gets it to Figaro Figaro plays a good ball looking for Faustin that's a good uh, touch yep Desai Lewis had to touch that it was a good idea playing that ball diagonally across changing the play was Figaro and um, Lewis had to be alert to it but here's Barnwell again he's gone up that right side so he's uh, he's going to go further up closer to the corner flag Looking to get it to Foster, what's, uh, that's not Foster, uh, that is uh, Frank Williams, who couldn't keep it in. And it's going to be a goal kick for Samoa North. 20 minutes gone here as Samoa North, nil. Trinity College East, nil. Long ball again from Lewis, and it's picked up here by Trinity East, but they give it away. This is Brown making that run, going down the right side. And it's a poor it, pass. You know, we've been looking at the passing, Brent. It's been really bad. It's been too Abysmal. long. Yeah, <laughs> it's been too long. And I, this is what I'm saying. I'm just not sure that they've come to terms with the conditions out there. Well, I, I, that instance is, is not... Well, it, it, you could factor in, of course, uh, this is a good ball. Yeah, this is Prince giving chase. He's going to put it across. And that's a very good header. That's in well defended. Fact, um, from Haynes, he had to defend that because coming in behind him was Frank Williams. Yeah, going back to your, your original point, Colin, yeah, you, you have to do, you do have to factor the conditions a bit because you, you know the type of surface you play. The ball is running a bit faster than normal, but yet still, the passes have been uh, well, really you, shocking you, so far. You would think, Brenda, after 22 minutes, they, they would have yeah, figured would, it out. Yeah. yeah, well, here is the corner, headed away by Brong and it comes right back uh, the shot coming from Figaro there and it took a little bit of a deflection but uh, luckily it uh, it passed the just to the outside of the post well, I just wondered if uh, I think that was Prince the number 10 if it had gone in would he better judge offside yeah well, the ball played long and... The goalkeeper again. Yeah, Dalrymple. He's coming off his line very quickly, Brent. And I'm quite impressed. You know, I, I, we have seen Dalrymple before. And, and he's done very well over, over the season. And uh, Trinity East have kept a couple clean sheets. Because and, of him, I, Yeah, because yeah. of him. Well, we, we talked about, of course, the pace of the pitch. And it, it's critical that he is uh, playing almost like the, a sweeper keeper. Of course, uh, one sweeper keeper comes to mind, it's uh, Manuel Noah, and uh, he didn't have a good day today. <laughs> no, he didn't actually, but you can't really blame him for the goals. No, not at all. Um, um, Germany had their chances in the first oh, half, they, and yep. uh, they didn't take it. They certainly didn't, and um, when you don't take it, and the thing is, when you don't take your chances, you're 1-0 up, 
Um, you know, one little mistake and can hurt you. But here's Brown and uh, Sween. Still Sween, but uh, it's won by Figaro. Gets it to Faustin. Faustin starts to come forward. That's, That's good, defending. good defending by Brown. But uh, Prince picks it up. Gets it to Barnwell. Barnwell playing it back to Prince. Prince now looking for some movement. Oh, he does well. Gets it to Barnwell. Barnwell. But uh, the ball kicked off of Barnwell by Lewis. And it's going to be a throw for Samoa North. He hasn't really put a foot wrong so far, has he, Lewis? <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's done well. Of course, there are two Lewises in the back for Samoa North. Yeah. There's Desai and Joshua. That man there, Desai, with the ball. Of course, in the first encounter, he did an extremely good job to, to keep Faustin shackled. Yes, he did. Well, here is Lewis. Gets it just to his left as that was to Jones. Uh, Jones playing it down the left-hand side. And uh, Jones just coming back and regaining possession and ensuring that it went uh, towards Guy. And now the other Lewis, Joshua Lewis, plays it out to That's Brown. Neat. That's a really a naughty tackle, yeah. but he gets away with it because they uh, someone not have the advantage. This and is better, might well. Commentators, because <laughs> yeah, but you know, they string together at least four the, or five passes, the, and then they the, decided to go long. The thing is, Brent, every time Lewis picks up the ball, he goes long, you know, and um, you know, the that's I suppose he's I, I don't know if that's the plan, but when he picks up that ball, he expects Noel to be making runs and he's trying to hit it over the top. So that seems to be the game plan because here's another one over the top. And uh, Noel can't get it, the, Barnwell. The, the problem with that, Colin, is when Noel eventually gets the ball, if he gets the ball, he has to face up against four, maybe five yellow shirts. So the, to go long doesn't make much sense, does it really? Because you're going to be confronted by that sort of situation. You're a lot better building and progressing the team as you move along. Well, it's been a lot of midfield play so far. No real chances created by either team as uh, this is Lewis coming forward with it, trying to get it to Noel, and uh, not a good ball. It's picked up by Barnwell, but he loses out to Brown. And still Barnwell, this is a good run. He's, he's holding off his opponent, and he can't keep it in. But you could see him holding off Mitchell, and uh, in the end, it was a throw for Samoa North. So Samoa North has another throw. It's going to be Lewis, this I.E. Lewis with it. Sends it infield towards uh, Mitchell. Back to Lewis. This is Mitchell playing it down the line. He's going to do well to keep that in. Well, he, he does, does very well. well. <laughs> yeah. So the ball still not out. And uh, Samoa North regain possession. This is Sween. He loves that left foot. He decides to go wide towards Joseph. Joseph coming in field with it. Plays it to Sween. This could be a chance for Sween, but he has to turn back. He's got to and use the right foot, yep, Colin. He's not prepared to do that. Brent. And the ball headed into the arms of the goalkeeper, Dal Rumpel. He, just, he has to use the right foot in that instance. He, he, he would have had the opportunity either to shot and goal or to play in Noel. Instead, he decides to try to go back on the left foot and into traffic. And if, this, if, the, if there is an area that Sween has to work on is that he has to be a little bit better with the right foot. Good talent. Well, the ball sent long forward and it's played out. It's going to be a corner, right-sided corner. Going across to take the corner, no doubt will be Sween. And he'll be looking to bend that ball into the goal with that left foot of his. So, for those of you following the World Cup, we, an update. Belgium just taking the lead against Canada by one goal to nil. I think uh, Canada would start that game as underdogs to the Belgians. But uh, we've been having so many upsets and strange results that uh, certainly nobody seems to be an underdog again, Brent. <laughs> I think uh, the factor of the timing of this World Cup, it's brought a lot of parity to it. 
of course, the normal preparation that a, a, a national team would have leading into a World Cup is not there. That's right. So uh, they're faced with uh, very unfamiliar circumstances. And, and uh, because of that, we have seen a lot of the quote-unquote uh, favoured teams struggling to cope. I tell you what, I was uh, really impressed by the performance by Saudi Arabia, calling it uh, yeah. Just yeah. uh, epitomizes I, everything that uh, a World Cup should be about. My only concern with them, you know, is uh, they're, they're not a, a big goal scoring team. No. You know, but defensively they seem to be well organized. And uh, I think it's going to be, life is going to be made difficult for, here is Brown moving Should through. Of course it, Colin. Yeah. I, I was about to say that life, is, could, they could, life could be very difficult um, for Mexico and Poland in that group against them. You well, know, and, I, I, and I'm not saying for one moment that Saudi Arabia are favourites to beat them, but I think they are going to be tough to beat. Yeah. Well, we see a player down. Let's see who that is. Is it Brong? I think it is Brong. Yeah, it is Brong. I, I, I thought he should have played in a bit earlier. Instead, he decided to, to put himself into tra traffic. And I think that's the storyline behind this game. It's uh, been a, a, a huge slice of missed passes of yeah. course uh, poor judgment uh, and of course uh, poor control and uh, it's uh, summed up into this being a very drab final so far despite uh, the potential of both teams and even here the atmosphere in the ground uh, although the, the crowd is certainly building here at the Larry Gomes Stadium has, have been very subdued no doubt so the physio is on getting treatment so 30 minutes gone here at the Larry Gomes Stadium. It's Sawan North 0, Trinity College is 0. So goal less here at the moment between these teams. And we've not had really any goal mouth action to talk about. You can't say, Brent, that uh, Trinity College missed chances, Sawan North missed chances. The goalkeepers, I, I remember one save from here in a corner and really Dalrymple um, he's had a couple shots from Sweden that were off target well they haven't been able to progress past the middle of the park because of uh, some of the reasons that we've just mentioned for both teams on that individual flair in particular from this man it's been very dominant even him with that errant pass now he's showing that he's human Prince is fighting for it and he was leaning all over Lois and the referee has indicated it's going to be a free kick So the free kick quickly taken and set downfield. High looping ball. Figaro is there. He's going to play it back in field. Mitchell heading it wide, but it's picked up by Prince. And he's uh, looking to play a 1-2 there with, uh, with, uh, with Frank Williams. And the ball came off of the defender, but they give it right back to Trinity East. This is Kroll. Looking to play that ball over onto the far side. Riley Hill is not going to get there. Oh, it's sorry. going to be a goal kick for Sawa North. Just needed to be a bit flatter in the pass. It had a little bit too much curl into it. And, uh, that's where they struggled. Seems like we're lamenting a lot on the fact, but uh, I just think that if uh, that aspect of the game could be cleaned up, you you'll probably see a lot better football game it's uh, just been really intrepid as we see the Tiger Tanks uh, advertisement board uh, trying to get onto the pitch <laughs> it's very breezy yeah, yeah it is so, well, let's, let's take a look at uh, of course uh, the patrons here at the, the Larry Gomes Stadium in Malabar as they fill the stand slowly but surely of course uh, an early kickoff here at the, at the stadium started at uh, half three and not uh, the traditional four or five p.m. so of course uh, uh, the alma mater persons yeah. coming in here is Sawa North looking to come forward with it this is Sween but uh, he is brought down. It's going to be a free kick for Sawa North. No doubt Sween is going to look to go from here. He's got the power, Brent. He's got the accuracy as well. Well, he had one a lot closer and he left it. So yeah. I'm not sure anymore. 
<laughs> well, I think he's ruined that. So he's uh, opting now to Take go for goal. Correct. There's a three-man wall in place, but it's a fair distance out. I don't think you, you know, I would be, I would be disappointed if he was to beat Dalrymple from this distance. But we've seen stranger things. Here he goes. That's not a bad effort. That's well, well. And Dalrymple was equal to it. He had to move swiftly to his left and he clawed it away. But that was an excellent free kick taken by uh, Sween from distance. And you just felt that, uh, you know, that he couldn't beat him from that distance. He didn't, but he certainly made him save. Here's Lois. Oh, that's not a good shot at all. He, he, he was looking for it and eventually it came off the outside of his boot and went for a goal kick. But that's a great effort from Sween. Brent, let's have a look. Yeah, it's a, it certainly had the, the direction and trajectory on it. I think a bit more power would have been needed, Colin, but... Uh, it, it was curling it away was curling as well away. from the keeper, which yeah. made it even more difficult. But, but because it was hard for him to judge, wasn't it? Yeah, but remember, we, we did mention, of course, the distance. And I think because of that, uh, Darimpo would have had that in sight for a very, very long time. But there is another ball played forward by Sween that really and truly, at the end of the day, was a poor ball. And, and they're just not weighing up their passes properly. But this is Joseph out on that uh, far side, plays it in field to Jones and... Again, we see another pass going astray. So the passing in this East Zone final has not been good. Prince looking to play it forward. And every Again. time you play this forward pass, it's just going way beyond the, the, the players. And... Uh, Eventually, that is being played out by Providence. 35 and a half minutes gone here. It's still goal less as the ball is thrown into Noel. Noel takes it nicely in his chest, plays it to Brown. Brown plays that ball over to the far side, looking for Joseph. But it's picked up by Sween. Sween goes back to Guy. Guy uh, to Joseph. Joseph turns with it, looking for some support. Gets it from Guy, going down that left side. He still guy and uh, the ball coming off of Lois and it goes out for a no the ball coming off of Daniel sorry and it goes out for a left sided corner which Noel no doubt is going across to take it there he is trotting across to take the corner so this one, unlike the ones he was kicking from the right side, this would be curling away from the goal, I would expect. So let's have a look at Sween. Yes, it is. And the heads go up. And eventually, it's put over the bar. <laughs> that was a chance. Yeah, it was. Yeah, he reacted uh, quicker than uh, most there, uh, Larry Noel. So we have another look at it. Out swinging corner there by Sween. Heads go up. The ball eventually falls to Noel there. He stabs at it. And uh, puts it over the bar. Maybe just needed uh, to, to lay, lay more into the shot. Well, he really wasn't in control. But here goes Faustin. And in a, a foot race there with Lois. And eventually... He's a, he's a lucky boy, yeah. Lois. I, I, I was looking at his approach to the ball. And he was a very lackadaisical. I, I don't think, Brent... He, he knew he, he was there. Yeah, that for, he realized. It's only at the last minute. He realized Faustin was coming up on him. And he had to take some quick, drastic action could have easily been a penalty that's right <laughs> but here's brown still brown he's done well plays a good ball well but he can't keep it in yeah but he so gets the foul yes it's going to be a free kick for Samoan north so the free kick Sween again is there. Expect that he's going to look to put this ball somewhere in the box. But if I was them, I would play it short because there's nobody. And that's going straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. The thing was, Brent, everybody got back into the area. And he, they could have played it short, take it a little closer, and then play the cross ball. But here goes Trinity. He's trying to come forward with it now. This is Hill. Come over onto this left side. 
but it's picked up and played down by this is Brown now Brown getting it to Hill Hill turns with it plays it in field but it's one back by Samoa North Mitchell playing it forward and still it's just see that no one in control at the moment but uh, turning nicely with it as Trinity East through Barnwell he can't stop it and Faustin plays it up the line that's a good ball Barnwell sends it across and a little bit of miscommunication there between Lois and goalkeeper Haynes Brent as uh, the ball is now picked up by uh, Faustin who is looking to have the shot and eventually it's cleared away so some pressure now being asserted on Sawa North the ball goes out of play it's going to be a throw for Sawa North Good challenge well here is he goes down and the referee is going to blow for a foul all right the tempo is certainly starting to raise a bit colin yeah there's all of a sudden it's uh, picked up we wow. see the referee having a little bit of a chat there with frank williams because he brought the player down i think it's it's a jones looking the the player who has come who has been brought down so we're just coming up to 40 minutes five minutes left in the first half and whatever added on time the referee decides on well uh, i expect uh, some big halftime speeches by both managers well that, that's the interesting thing brent what i mean you look at the the game so far and really and truly um it's been a lot of midfield play they've been playing these long balls that be aimless balls that have just been running off the field and um, you, you wonder what uh, sort of tactical uh, approach the coaches will have at half time well i think the first thing they tell them is to, to settle down <laughs> a lot of what is happening it's 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 really down to just uh, poor approach nothing tactical i think both teams are set up the right way they just haven't been clever in what they're doing Again, the ball looking to be pass. played through. Yep, and, poor, uh, poor and it doesn't matter what you do in terms of shifting players around and, and doing a different approach. Uh, it's unless you improve, of course, in the pass of the control. It don't matter what system you play. That's right. Well, here is Lewis with the throw, looking to get it towards uh, Noel, but it's picked up by the Fatima College students as they come forward with it. Sent up field, but uh, there was Mitchell going down. But um, referees continue in play as this is Faustin. This is trouble here. Faustin has the shot, goes just wide. He was being forced a little bit wide, Brent. Um, but again, we see him in a tussle, uh, gets the better of the defender. But he knew he couldn't cut inside um, because uh, there was Haynes, there look was, at yeah, Haynes, the number yeah. eight coming across there, that's of course. right. Didn't allow him the opportunity to come in. Sort of shell it that he could have hit the target from there, done a little bit better. Yeah, I thought he should have made the keeper save. Yeah, but he, he didn't do it. And uh, we're now seeing uh, Foster now operating in a more central position. So that's a, certainly a tactical change. But uh, as I said, it, it really needs uh, the players to settle down a bit and, and, of course, work on the basics. Yeah, certainly they need to work on the basics. But in the meantime, a player is being treated. Well, let's see who that is. The man being treated there. It looks to be the number 12 player, Mitchell. So he's being treated. As play is about to resume. nothing happening at this present time two players at the side two Sawa North players at the side just getting some treatment as the play has restarted it's very strange what's happening because uh, Sawa North about two or three players were at the side of the field um, just being treated and taking water and um, play had restarted on the far side 
Well, that's interesting. I well, it, it really has been a bizarre half of football from a San Juan North perspective. Nothing like what we've seen from them in the past. But uh, again, they still uh, 45 minutes, and I'm sure a coach of uh, Jerry Moore's experience will fix that. Well, the ball goes all the way back and then sent long downfield. To no one in particular. Yeah. <laughs> it's picked up by, let's see, that is uh, Mitchell going forward. Looking to get it to Jones, but he loses out. And here comes uh, Trinity College East, and that's a horrible ball. Well, Brent, how many times have we seen <laughs> these passes straight down uh, through the middle, uh, going uh, almost crazy, like if there's uh, th there's some sort of uh, a problem when you're going forward with, when after going to the movies? So it's, a, it's really been a poor half of football by both teams. Something that uh, I'm extremely confident that uh, both coaches will try to address well we are playing for just about uh, we have another 30 seconds before we have 45 minutes and uh, we uh, we understand there's going to be one minute of added on time certainly not like the world cup brand 14 minutes and eight minutes and seven minutes and i understand fifa is doing that to try to cut out the time wasting tactics of teams but the substitutions Yep, and the substitution. But here is Prince looking to play this ball towards Faustin. Faustin coming inside, gets it to Hill. Oh, oh, he's got he, to finish, Colin. Yep. He needed to hit it with those laces, Brent. He well, even the left foot. Yeah, he, he went with the, the side of his foot. Never got the power. Got the accuracy, but uh, certainly you don't expect to beat. It was a, a chance. Yeah, you don't beat a keeper of Haynes' ability with that type of uh, shot, but... Uh, the ball is played over onto the far side by Kroll, but it's intercepted. Joseph playing it towards Sween. Sween turns nicely with it, but uh, the loose ball is going all the way down to Dalrymple. So we are into added on time. And no goals yet here. So it's another tight affair between these two teams. Remember when they met in the league, it, it was a 1-0 victory for Sawa North as Joseph picks it up looking to come forward with it and the ball comes off of Daniel cleared away by Figaro oh that was Whiteman sorry clearing it away but uh, the loose ball sent over on the far side looking for Brown but um, we've just gone over the minute of added on time sent upfield this is Faustin out comes Haynes good goalkeeping I would expect to hear the referee's whistle any time now. And there it is. It's the end of the first half here. An uh, uh, encounter in which both teams really never settled. We've seen both these teams in action before. And we've seen quality football from them. This final, uh, that we're not sure if is the conditions of the pitch. But passes are going astray. Um, chances have... Very, we've seen very few chances by both these teams and really and truly Brent it has not been an exciting uh, half first half here so at the end of the half it's Sour North 0 Trinity College East 0 uh, we're at the half here at the Larry Gold Stadium and we're going to take a break and come back I'm Tevin and I'm here to tell you two big things. The first thing is that Coca-Cola Intercol is back and we are ready to kick it off. Now even bigger news than that is that this year will be like no other because you and your school team have a chance to win a set of special edition Coca-Cola Intercol football shirts. Now all you have to do is join us in creating hashtag sustainable happiness throughout the competition.
joining me pit side is assistant coach for Trinity College East, Keeve Vandu. Now, coach, thoughts on your first half so far? Both sides have been even possession, I would think. Um, equal opportunity in front of me. Now, as we know, this is, you guys are playing for everything. It is the East Zone final. Are you going to make any adjustments going into second half? Um, no, I think so far what we plan to do has been working. We just need to convert by the chances we get. Here. Thank you, Coach. All the best in the second half. That is assistant coach of Trinity College East, Keith Van Loo. Right now, we are going to be joined by assistant coach Richard Nicoto of Sour North. So, Coach, no goals have been scored so far, but what is your assessment of the first half? Um, I think both teams have done their job tactically. It's a final, it's very much tight, but I think a set piece or a moment of balance will decide much. So, what is your plan for the second half coming up right now? I think we need to lift up our intensity in the game a bit more and play a bit more purpose. Thank you so much, Coach. All the best in the next 45 minutes. That was Coach Richard Nicoto of Sour North Secondary. Right now, we're going to take a look at some of the match's highlights. So, Colin, Brent, over to you. Okay, so we at the half. It's goalless between these two teams. Let's have a look at the highlights. The first real shot coming from Sween, and then Faustin was on a run. A really good run, looking to have the shot, never got over the ball, it went high over the bar, and then the corner, uh, the heads go up and headed away, and then a shot coming from Figaro and going just wide. Then Sween with another curling shot, and Dalrymple had to dive to his left and just push it away. Then the corner from Sween, so it's been so, and over the bar, so it's been a lot more action from, uh, from uh, Sour North, but here goes Foston again. He has been the danger man, having a shot and going just wide. So, really and truly, not much goal mouth action here between these two teams. Brent, let's have a look at the stats. Well, a game that has been drab in terms of a play. So, uh, six shots by San Juan North Secondary, two of those shots on target, seven shots by Trinity College, two of those on target. A collective of nine fouls, two from San Juan North Secondary, seven from Trinity College East. No cards in the game so far, despite the midfield battles that we saw. Zero offsides in both sets of teams. Numbers, of course, are six corners collectively, four for San Juan North Sec, two for Trinity College East. Four saves all together. They've split that one two apiece. And in the possession, it's been 53% to San Juan North Secondary and 47% to Trinity Colleges, a game that has lacked uh, not much uh, goal scoring activity in it, uh, but nevertheless, the scoreline has been 0 0. Yes, yeah, uh, been 0 0. And, and really and truly, the stats you look at those stats, Brent, possession 53 to 47. So you can tell it's a pretty even game uh, at, at the moment between these two teams. And um, you know, I, I don't know why, I, I, I just feel uh, uh, this, this it looks like a one goal game. It possibly could be, but uh, let's have a word with our host downstairs at Siobhan. Well, folks, let's put some focus on some of the players of today's match. We would have passed by the uh, training session and we would have caught up with Jardel Mitchell of Sao One North and uh, goalkeeper Brandon Dalrymple from Trinity College East. My name is Jardel Mitchell. I'm 19 years of age. I play for Sawa North Secondary School. And I play the defensive midfield position. I'm currently in Upper Six. I'm studying Caribbean Studies, Digital Media, Accounting, and Entrepreneurship. I chose the game of football because of my um, father. It was a game he also played. Um, I have played football for almost my entire life. Um, I play for Caledonia EIA. I have been playing for them my whole Playing career. It's really stressful playing with the school team because you have a lot of high expectations from supporters and it's been really great so, such a one of my um, major accomplishments was when I gained Manali match against Mokarapo East and I would like to accomplish winning the East Zone title and the Intercal, the national intercal title. 
Hi, my name is Brandon Valrimple. I'm 18. I go to Trinity College East, Upper Six. Um, I am currently the goalkeeper for Trinity College East Blue Hawks. Growing up, I really haven't accomplished much in my football career. Um, that's why I really want to win this integral season. I want to leave a legacy for the younger ones. And I also want to prove to myself that all the hard work I did would mean something to myself and to my school. I want to prove to myself that I could go further and I could achieve better. So over this vacation, um, I went abroad actually to play football and I spoke to MLS keepers and I trained with them and they all told me I really have the talent, I have the physical ability. I just need to work on key things to up my game. And that's again why I'm in training and working hard because I want to get better. I want to go further, I want to fix myself to achieve something big. If my talent carries me further, I will pursue football because I love the sport. I stay to the sport, I stick to the sport. The sport is what I love. When we played against Kirasi, I would say that was our most memorable time. And in that game, I made a wonderful save, a beautiful save. Um, but that game, the, the entire team played together, played as one, and we really showed what Trinity College East could do on a field. Joining me pitch side from the stands is Chris. Joining me from the stands is Chris, and uh, in case you didn't realize, he's repping for Sawa North, so welcome Chris. Sawa all the way, Sawa all the way. So before we get into today's match, who are you backing for World Cup? Who are your favorite teams? Germany. Unfortunately, I lose today, but I'm a German fan all the way. Yeah, the Japanese came out for you guys. Yeah, it, was, it was a little off, but we'll bounce back. We have two games. So I was not going to ask, uh, who are your favorite players, and I guess what is but the next Sunny game? And he didn't play today, so that's why we went down too, okay. you know? And uh, what is the next game you're really looking forward to? Well, Spain. Spain. We had to, we had to do it to Spain on Sunday in, in order to have a chance. Okay. So, Chris, we'll see if it is someone, you know, managed to be triumphant today or if Trinity East will, you know, take home the trophy. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, thank you so much, Chris. Right now, we get ready for second half action. But before we do, we're going to give you guys this feature coming out from the Coca-Cola's Coca -Cola's Sustainable Happiness Campaign. So here's how we use recycled plastic bottles to make our special edition Coca-Cola Intercol football jerseys. First of all, the plastic bottles are collected and packed at the recycling center before being shipped to the processing factory. Next, the plastic bottles are melted into white round balls. These plastic balls are then crushed and spun through a nozzle that creates yarn. The yarns are used to weave a polyester fabric. Finally, that fabric is used to make our special edition Coca-Cola Intercol jerseys that you and your school could win. So get collecting those plastic bottles and bring them to the Every Bottle Back Center at Charlotte Street in Port of Spain so you and your school can help create hashtag sustainable happiness.
Welcome back to a very sunny Larigum Stadium here in Malabar. And it's a goalless at the half between San Juan North and Trinity College East. And the, both the sets of teams are already out in the middle. The officials are making their way out uh, to the middle as well. So we should be getting the second half action underway very, very shortly indeed. But the thing is, at, at this point in time, Brent, Based on that first half, it was a, a first half that was not really uh, all that exciting. A lot of misplaced passes. And um, let's hope that we get a better showing. Because both these teams are, are a better team than what we have seen. Yeah, and uh, of course, uh, you mentioned the fact about the playing surfaces. But uh, we've already said that they've played an entire half of football. So they should have been able now to recognize the type of field that they're playing for. Uh, playing on sorry uh, and it's so important uh, of course as we we see a, a change being made here by uh, San Juan North yeah it seems to be Thomas isn't Thomas it? is in and uh, he looks like he replaces Brown uh, Brown yeah yep so who was struggling a bit Brown I think he got a bit of a knock uh, but uh, going into this half uh, I'm pretty sure that both halftime speeches were quite similar uh, and it would go down to of course, uh, a better account for themselves in the way they possess the ball, in the way, of course, uh, they pass the ball, they control the ball, and their decision-making. Well, here is Samoa North uh, playing that ball over to the man who just came on as a substitute and never reached him, but Prince gets it to Frank Williams. Back to Prince. Prince on the attack here, looking to have a goal. And uh, really, at the end of it, uh, he you could see him looking to have a goal, looked up, but um, he must have just been... Uh, Hustled into that shot and really and truly never went anywhere. But here goes uh, Thomas over on that far side. Plays a good ball infield to Jones. Jones looking to find Noel. But it's cleared away. Prince getting it to Hill. Hill is going to play it wide. Out towards Faustin. Faustin being harassed at the moment. And eventually a guy gets it to come off of Faustin. And it's going to be a throw for Trinity Colleges. So this is Daniel with the throw. Sends it downfield, but looking for Faustin, but winning it is Mitchell. Figaro does very well, but uh, runs into two players, and eventually the ball is played down to Faustin. Faustin, he just waited that a split second allowing Lewis to get at him he turns with it again and then kicks it off of Lewis he's done the second best thing I thought Brent when he picked it up he should have gone but he held back and just that split second gave Lewis the opportunity to come back and tackle yeah and uh, he's quite good at that he's quite good of course uh, as we see confirmation of the substitution uh, Thomas in and, and uh, Christian and Brown, Brown is off yep. uh, but he's quite good at uh, of course uh, recovering Lewis is uh, very athletic. Oh, yeah. He's probably... No-nonsense kind of defender. Yeah, he's their top defender, isn't he? Yeah. Well, it's going to be a left, a right-sided corner with a left foot for Trinity College East. So I would expect this one to be curling and swirling this all over trouble. the place by the keeper as well. well. It hung in there. The thing is, it hung in there and no one really attacked it. But the ball sent towards this near side Barnwell who had come over to take the corner that's oh that's poor. a bad miss there because yeah, he had runners on both right and left but here's Noel he has a runner this is Thomas oh, can he finish he, he has take a shot long. over the bar but as he as he was he never really got over that ball yeah. Brent. you could see him standing up and sort of leaning back and hitting it but um, that was a very good chance created by Noel well no Noel slides the ball out there to Thomas whose first touch is not the best uh, and the shot probably even worse no real conviction in it there never look or never looked confident in uh, of course collecting and having a proper strike and goal and eventually blasted over the bar but that's a good look for San Manot the game already has picked up a bit in that, tempo yeah, that's right and uh, you just wonder if uh, we're going to be presented with a lot better second half well here is Lewis getting that ball forward in a real tussle is Jones, but still, Trinity's come away with it. Figaro, Faustin turns his man well, 
and then chips it. I think he was looking to chip it. Oh, oh my! And uh, Prince can't finish. Well, the ball, I think Haynes took his eye off. It was a comfortable take. He took his eye off of it and Prince following up just couldn't get over the ball. I tell you what, this was an opportunity. It was a long looping one. Haynes never collected it well. And there was Prince. Just needed a lot better connection, a little bit, uh, of course, of, of well, just needed to, to be a little bit more humble in his approach. I'm not sure why he snapped at it like that. He could have touched it away from the goalkeeper then placed it in. Well, Joseph. That was a chance, Colin. That certainly was. But here is Trinity's Frank Williams trying to play it to Faustin. The loose ball is picked up by Daniel. Chipping it forward for Faustin. Confronted by Guy. He comes in field. Oh, dancing with it is Faustin. But plays it back towards Daniel. Daniel trying to get it to Hill. And Lewis does well. But it's won by Faustin. He's kept it in. And is he brought down? Yes, he is. Let's see what is the, the referee is going to do. He's reaching into his pocket. Yeah, rightfully so. Brown know exactly what he was doing. Yes. In That's fact, a, it, a, a it was Mitchell. Mitchell. So, yeah. Yeah, knows exactly. So he's got the first yellow card of the game. So I see another look at it. Good bit of skill there by Faustin. Eventually being uh, impeded there by Mitchell. So it is Faustin is over the free kick together with Daniel. Now you wonder if he's going to have a, a crack on goal here. Tell you what, it, uh, it is an extremely difficult angle and it uh, does have its distance. Well, Daniel is going to take it because Faustin is walking away. So here's Daniel. Well, he's well, broken the wall. You yeah, can't do you that. You can't son. do that. That's going to be That's a, a card. Yeah. Let's see what the referee is going to do. Well, it wasn't even close. <laughs> he's, no, he's very just, fortunate yeah, not to he, get booked. Yeah, it, he's, uh, just, he's just having a word with him. Yeah, it's uh, it is an automatic card when you do that. Yes. He gets so he now yeah. gets the yellow card. Sween. Well, I'm not so, sure why he did it because uh, it's, yeah, a, it's a very straightforward yeah, but, rule. But you know you can't do it. And um, I don't know why he attacked the ball. So I think they've they've taken the free kick a little closer. Yeah, that's correct. So Daniel is over the ball. Well, one thing we know, he is going to go for goal. <laughs> yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe now the angle may not be, be be the same, but it is, and it's even closer. Here he is. He does go for goal, and poor really and truly high over the bar. Never really got well, over it. And I don't understand why attempted because it's a very difficult skill. As much as I encourage young players to express themselves, that was uh, beyond difficult to try and attempt. The outside of the right foot. My so, question, Colin, is how many times uh, he's done that in practice <laughs> and scored? Well, that's <laughs> the thing. Because I'm sure these players practice these things, Brent. Oh, we hope so. Well, this is Sween. Runs straight into the defender. Noel has the shot on the turn. But uh, going just wide, it was always going wide. He hit it with that left foot and it was always uh, coming off the boot, curling away. So it's going to be a goal kick. Figaro playing it in field towards uh, that is uh, Frank Williams. Playing that ball over onto the far side, but it rebounds and goes to the goalkeeper. So, well, well I'm looking at uh, Trinity College East uh, formation. They've changed tactically, and it looks like, uh, of course, they're pushing more numbers forward. It looks like a 4 3 3 now. Yeah. With uh, Riley uh, Hill is playing at, in the, in the focal in a, position. Yeah. And um, Faustin has come out to the right, wide on the right, and Prince has gone wide on the left. But here's the ball sent through. That's a good ball. Prince is not going to get there, though, before the keeper. And again, 
didn't Tell hold on. <laughs> Colin, now uh, my heart dropped. <laughs> he didn't hold on to that <laughs> cleanly, did he? Oh my word! I think he was looking at the forward, looking at the ball at the same I'm time. Looking at the line yeah. to make sure he was in the box. So he had three things to worry about, and uh, then he had me worried. <laughs> but it ended well for him, and it's still goalless. As this is Mitchell getting it to Thomas, Thomas playing that ball forward to Jones, and his cross is not a good one, and it goes out. It's going to be a goal kick for Trinity Colleges. A long ball for Hill to chase, and still Hill doing well. Does very well and looks to play Faustin in, but Support eventually Paris. it comes to, to this is Faustin trying to well turn defending. guy, but that's a good bit of defending. And I so think uh, the, the the idea to have uh, Hill up top is really to, of course, uh, impose a bit uh, of, of physicality into it. He's certainly now uh, putting himself about. And making it quite difficult for both uh, Haynes and Lewis back there, who in the first half dominated physically. That's right. And he's a tall guy, isn't yeah, he? He's a, he's, a, he's a focal point. Yeah. So very interesting move. So here is a long ball played up towards Noel. Does well. Goes by his man and slips in the process. So it's picked up here by Trinity Colleges. Goes wide to Faustin. Faustin looking to turn Guy, still real tussle here he's between well. Faustin and Guy. He's actually won, he's a won throw. the throw, no. Yeah, guy, Guy's the, done well. The referee has decided it goes the other way. Well, interestingly enough, uh, Faustin has uh, now picking up, uh, have now picked up, sorry, occupation on this side. Uh, that, yeah. He didn't get much change out of this A.E. Lewis. So he's come uh, to try his... Uh, Lock with, uh, of course, Guy. The rebound goes to Noel. This could be a problem. Oh, he's pushed it too far. I was about to say, he seemed to be away here. And uh, it's going to be a left-sided corner. Seems that Noel is uh, going to have a change yeah, of boots, is he? Yeah, well, I, as I said, I walked out onto the pitch, Colin, and, and despite it looking lush and green it's it's still moist it's yeah. it's not moist enough for it to be slushy but it's moist enough uh, to see players of course uh, slip over and we've seen uh, of course Noel on a couple occasions now loses yeah, foot slipping in. that's yeah. right so immediately and that's good uh, Brent on his part because he realizes that the boots he has he was slipping all over the place and immediately called for a change that's good so here is Samuel North coming forward through uh, Lois and eventually it's played in field but it's cleared away goes straight back towards lewis or this is thomas sorry and he's trying to control it and uh, he's turning he's nicely with it I saw, but, uh, I that's thought a, he was fouled yes look to be pushed and the ball played towards prince he's not going to get there uh, before haynes and it's going to be a throw for trinity colleges 10 minutes gone so far in the second half no goals yet Last time in the semi-finals, we went to penalty kicks between Arima North and Sawa North. Could we be heading for penalty kicks again in the final? Sawa North coming forward with it. This is Jones. Looking to get Thomas going. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, Noel went too early, Colin, and that's uh, right. He, he wasn't able I, to pass it. Yeah, Jones realized that yeah. actually, and he stopped he because stopped. you could see him was going to play the ball through and realized that Noel had gone quickly. He held it and then tried to play Thomas in. It's and, there. Yeah, and uh, but it just hasn't worked out for them. So I think uh, Noel could have played it probably a bit faster. Jones, sorry, could have played it a bit faster. Uh, one thing we know is that Noah's quite good at those sorts of circumstances. So here is Samuel North on the attack again. As uh, this ball goes wide, that was Desai Lewis trying to get it into Thomas. And eventually it goes out of play. And it's going to be a throw for 
Trinity College East. So the drums beat away here at the Larry Gomes Stadium, trying to lift these players to get something going, to get a goal at least here in this East Zone final. And as I keep saying, the last time these two teams met, it was just with the one goal in it. And who knows? Could very well be this one goal to decide the game here today. This is Faustin coming in field with it. But it's a, a throw. So the throw is going to be taken. It looks to be Daniel taking the throw. And uh, the ball comes off. Faustin, uh, I think there was a deflection on that. Yes, yeah, he's won so himself slight. a corner. Yeah. So coming up to one hour here, just about uh, one hour of this game, and yet we've not seen a goal. I really thought today, Brett, we'd have had a couple goals in this game. But you know, you're looking at Trinity College East over the, the season. They've not conceded many. And they haven't scored many. No, that, that's right. <laughs> So I think uh, it's right. fair to say. So it's fair to say goal less is a pretty decent result yeah, at the uh, moment. At the, at the moment. Well, it's a right sided corner. Barnwell has come to take it with that left foot as his. Sends it towards us, though it swings over the top of the net. One or two of the fans may have thought that that went crept into the net. So not a great corner from Barnwell hitting it too chance. close. Yeah, yeah wasted opportunity. Long probing ball there again. So this is Figaro. Gets it to Prince. Going back towards uh, Barnwell. That's and they, gi they give it away to Thomas, and he in turn gives it away. Gives it away. <laughs> so it's going to be a throw. Giving it away to Providence, but Providence clearance wasn't a good one. And Noel just uh, trying to play it back to Thomas. And the man goes down. It's going to be a free kick for Trinity College East. Not a big crowd here, but um, it's I would building. Say, yeah, it's, it's, it's building nicely. Building. It's not a bad crowd. Yeah. And when you think about it as well, Brent, you've got World Cup action, which started at 3 o'clock. And, so, uh, and this was an early start. Yep. So Belgium against Canada. At, I think at halftime it was 1 0 with Belgium leading. It's still 1 0. Uh, it's halftime now. Or is it? Or is it full time? So the 90th minute. 90th. So, so you have to say Canada hasn't done, they haven't done badly. Our CONCACAF neighbors, they, they've been holding on, trying to maybe just. And you see. Having some pride after Costa Rica. Oh, my word. You see, and, and you again, Brent, that one goal lead, just one mistake, and it's back to one all. Yeah. So the player dung, uh, let's see. Looks to be Guy, I think, the player dung. I'm just checking it. So there is a little bit of a collision. And. Uh, Let's see, the man, Dong, it's not Guy. Um, just trying to make out who it is. It's Lewis. Yes, it is Joshua Lewis, the player, Dong. So he's come off. Um, he's got the treatment, but he's off. And uh, he'll have to wait the referee's permission before he gets back onto the field. So the throw is going to be taken by Daniel. Sends it in field towards Hill. But it's one back here by Jones. Sends a long ball forward. Actually, it was looked to be... Uh, this is Jones now, so it looked to be Sween who played that long ball forward. And uh, 
It's going to be a right-sided corner this time for Sawa North. So a long ball played for Jones to run on to. And uh, it went out. And it's going to be a corner. But before that corner is taken, I think uh, a player is down again for Trinity College East. Just now it was a player down for Sawa North. This time it's for Trinity College East. The physio is going on to the field. But he's up and he looks to be in. Looks to be all right. Looks to be Providence, the player that had gone down. The skipper. So Sween is going to take the corner on the far side. A right-sided corner. Let's see if he can make this count. The corner goes to the far post. And here coming in at that far post was Lois. And I, th I thought maybe Brent, he should have tried to head it back across the, the Anything goal. with his head would yeah. have been fine. Well, he went, he went with his foot and that ball was always dropping. And now, now he's cramping up. Well, anything with the head would have been a better option than what he tried to do. Just don't know why he would uh, try to use a, his foot. It, it just needed a solid connection with the head. The, the ball was put across with quite a fair deal of pace. And uh, he just needed to get his head on it. Of course, the, uh, the thing is, is, as well, Brent, he's a defender. You would have expected he's come up there to use his head. Well, the ball is coming across here. And uh, he just needed to meet it. Yeah, of course, uh, your head would have been, as a defender, you're right, a better option. But again, well, just the wrong option. So only. 65 minutes have gone here. We still await the first goal. We could be heading for penalty kicks. Long ball played forward. Hill giving chase. And eventually Jones gets there before him. Plays it out. And it's going to be a throw for Trinity College East. Daniel with the throw. Sends it in field. A little bit of pushing, but the referee says play on. And it goes. This is Sween pushing that ball. And it was the right idea, yeah. Colin. It's just just uh, couldn't keep it in. Keep it in, yeah. So the ball thrown infield as... Well, they're down to 10 men, San Juan North. Of course, uh, Lewis off the pitch yep. receiving treatment. So this is Hill trying to keep it in. He couldn't. Uh, that's not Hill. Uh, that's Barnwell trying to keep it in. He couldn't. And it's uh, going to be a throw for San Juan North. Well, the tempo has improved, Colin, but the quality hasn't. It's, no, uh, it hasn't. We've seen a lot of errant passes, uh, and again, right on cue. Well, again, another poor pass, and looking to get Faustin going, but uh, hit a little too straight, and the goalkeeper comes out and claims it. Haynes, with a long kick downfield, Figaro cushions that ball towards Hill, and again, Hill turning and just playing it blindly, hoping that Faustin would, would be making a run, and he was not. So, the ball played upfield, and again, this is Sawa North. Mitchell on the go, playing it towards Sween. They give it back to Sween, and Sween is brought down. It's going to be a free kick for Sawa North. have another look at it uh, it's late for the challenge I don't think it was malicious but no. um, he was just late with that challenge and it's going to be a free kick well we've seen Sween go to goal from these distances so I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if he does so here is Sween this time he doesn't he plays it in field and it's headed over the bar just about <laughs> <laughs> yes i think there were a few worried uh, faces including dalrymple because he wasn't just allowing it to go over he was running after it to making sure it was going over so very interesting um wales against uh, iran is that game tomorrow i think uh, the 25th the 25th well, and very young, young, young Wales, Caleb Wales, Caleb Wales makes is, his debut. Yep, assistant referee in the World Cup. That's wonderful news. 
for Trinidad so, Tobago. Yep, we and, uh, are. So we are represented, Brent, at the, the 2022 World, World Cup. Yeah, we are. And uh, it's uh, really a testament to the young man who's done uh, exceedingly well here in Trinidad Tobago. Yep. And there is a batch of uh, young, young referees, referees coming yep. through. Well, here is the free kick, goes over to the far post. The heads go up, headed away by Prince. And uh, Hill running the ball down, but Sween gets there first, plays it back. This is Lewis. Lewis misses it, and away goes Faustin. This is Faustin. My word, is he brought down? Still, Faustin. That's a goal. A mistake here by Lewis and Faustin, of all people, to capitalize on this. Where's Faustin? Now he's going to get a yellow card. A number of them, Brent, can get yellow cards here. Because I think about four of the Trinity East players, they have taken off their shirts. The referee, he is looking to see which ones. Faustin is one, I'm sure. I don't even know if he can find his, uh, his shirt. Well, here it is again. A mistake by Lewis. Faustin allowed in. Foul there by Lewis. Lucky man. Lewis that is because he could have been red carded for that Foster carried on and puts it past of course the stranded hands on the line Lewis a man who has uh, played most of his time at Sandwood North error free today may have produced an error that may cause Sandwood North the title and of course the celebration by Foster that's probably gonna yeah, put him in it, the, it, no it's a it it red card I'm sorry a, a yellow, yellow card, card. Uh, Faustin has got a yellow card already. I think the fourth official is pointing out another player who took his shirt off. That would have been Le Hill. Yeah, let's see. The referee is walking across. Yes, it's Hill. I think he's going to get I'm, a yellow. I'm not sure why. I really don't understand why take it. You know you're going to get booked for it. <laughs> uh, why Brent, do it? No, but Brent, you know, I can forgive the players. I think the excitement, well... There's so many other yeah. celebrations. Yeah, coming. but I, you have know... You, have, I, you, have you ever seen the stir-fry dance? <laughs> the what? The, the what, the sorry? The stir-fry. No, I haven't seen that one. You, you'll you have to demonstrate it a day no, to try, me. I won't. Yeah, I, I won't. I, I, still but, have, um, I still value my knee. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you see it in the Premiership. You see it with, 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 with international players. And, you know, I, I just think just the whole euphoria of the moment. Because let's face it, this game uh, should come to life now. But Trinity College East, we all said that they were underdogs. I said to you that I think this Trinity College East team is going to give these guys a fight. And boy, have they fought. Yeah, they have fought. Uh, and coupled with the fact that uh, San Juan North has uh, chosen today to probably be uh, they were, uh, what, 75 plus minutes of football so far. There's still a lot of time though. Oh yeah. And uh, you just wonder if yeah. uh, this goal is going to spark San Juan North In, into, into some action. Into, uh, it must be noted that Lewis, before the goal, came off the field for treatment. Well, he's getting treatment again as that ball is played beyond Jones and it's going to be a throw for Trinity College East. They're going to have to go for it, uh, San Juan North. They've not played well. And of course, uh, credit to Trinity College East, who's not, not made it easy for them. But there's still a lot of time left. So there is confirmation of the booking for Jaheim Faustin, a uh, yellow card. So the throw is going to be taken by Daniel. Let's see. Looks to be a foul throw to me. And yes, it is. So the throw is going to be taken now and set back to Guy from Joseph. Goes all the way back towards uh, Mitchell. That's he sends ball. a very Excellent good ball, ball to Thomas. This is danger. Uh, he chose the wrong option. Thomas. Well, that's the second time Colin is uh, cutting that ball in on his uh, right foot. Uh, and then uh, possibly even his third time. <laughs> and, and blasted it over the bar. Yeah. Well, I'm just not sure why. It's, uh, you're right, he had options, which was sliding the ball across, but uh, he didn't do it. It was a, really a good ball to him. And um, you would have thought that he would have done better with it, but he, we, we, I think he, he looked for the shot, and um, but he was never really in control. But here's Guy playing that ball. Oh, yeah, that's poor. And uh, it goes out of play, and it's going to be a 
goal kick they, for they, they Trinity Colleges. They just started to turn the screws, Sanwa North, and then, of course, that happens. And it's been that type of game for them so far. It's, it just hasn't went well for them. And uh, I just wonder if they're going to start throwing caution to the wind. So just about 16 and a half minutes left in this game for Samoa North to get back into it. They'll have to come from behind and, uh, against uh, Arima North in the semi-finals. They were ahead and twice Arima North came from behind. So it's uh, going to be a free kick. As a foul committed there on the... Samoa North player who is uh, down. It is Lewis. He's been to the, the oh, yeah, wars. He's been today. in the wars, hasn't he? I said a, a very solid defender. Yeah, it's hard to pinpoint uh, him putting a foot wrong. Of course, it's the only that, one that, that, that comes that, at the yep, biggest moment. That mistake he made, and of all people, you made that mistake and you let Faustin in. Yeah, that's not the kind of mistake you would want to have uh, to give Faustin the chance. But here's Barnwell. Please, it to Prince, but. Uh, big boot coming up uh, the boot coming up there from looks to be I just feel yep. Colin that uh, this game has still a, another twist or turn in it yep it I don't think was... San North is going to go out this easily without a fight well Riley Hill is down and it could be very well from that uh, when he, he tried to uh, go into a clash there with uh, Haynes and Haynes was booting the ball up a uh, black Haynes and um, may have just uh, caught Hill and he's down so 75 minutes gone here 15 minutes left Sawa North they trail Trinity College East by one goal to nil this is the Coca-Cola East Zone Intercall Final the winner of this will meet Fatima College and the coach has been saying he wants to meet his alma mater because he is a product of Fatima College. So the hill is back up, but he's got to come off the field. So let's... Uh, The ball is with Dalrymple at the moment. As Hill has come off and is asking to come back on now. So this, the ball is with Dalrymple. The referee just goes to bounce it. So Dalrymple gets hold of it. Picks it up. No doubt he's going to hit it long. Not such a great kick, but it goes towards the half line. And uh, Daniel... Sending it downfield, but uh, not able to keep it in. And the throw is going to be taken by Guy. Gets it in field. Ball played all the way back towards Haynes. Haynes playing it towards Black Haynes. And Haynes, long ball forward. And Providence is there, heads it forward. But it's picked up by Sween. Looking to have a crack. Was always under pressure. Couldn't really get that shot away as he would have liked. As Sawa North desperate now to get back into this game and at least force this game into penalty kicks. As Dalrymple kicks it long, not a great kick. And uh, Sawa North looking to come forward again, but they give it away to Figaro. Figaro hits it long. Giving chase is Frank Williams and it's going to be a throw for Trinity College East taking his time going to take the throw is Daniel Josiah Daniel we see Samoa North making a substitution the man coming off is the number 11 Joseph and uh, we'll give you a moment, we'll tell you in a moment who the man coming on for Joseph is. 
So it's Dan Clark. So Dan Clark coming on for Joseph. As a throw for Daniel. So here's the throw from Daniel, goes to Hill. Ball played back to Daniel. This is Hill now in possession. Tries to flick it inside towards uh, Frank Williams. And that's going to be a foul committed by Hill as uh, his foot was raised a little too high and Jones the recipient of that foul. See Trinity College East now looking to make a substitution. Well I tell you what uh, and if uh, Hill found, would have found himself in a lot deeper trouble he would have been a problem because remember he would have been booked for taking his top off. That's right. Goes back to my point. Well here is the ball played in the center circle Played out wide, trying to find Thomas, but Barnwell is there. He does very well. Plays that ball down the line, uh, trying to get Prince going. It goes all the way through to goalkeeper Haynes. He sends a good ball upfield, but uh, it's one back here. Oh, this is good skill by Faustin. Oh, this is good. This is excellent. Faustin on the go, and he still has got possession close to the corner flag. And in the end, Showboating a little bit, Brent. I thought it's too early. Yeah, he Way had too early for that. He had, he had the when he got past the second player, he, continue he, going with pace. That's right. So the shot comes and goes just wide. So it's going to be a, a goal kick for Sawan North, we see a substitution. Hill is coming off, and the man going on is John Michael Romero. So Romero on for Hill. As a, that's a poor touch. That's good keeping from Dalrymple. So. The ball thrown in field. Lewis playing that forward towards Sween. Sween being confronted by two players and then it's hit long. And uh, it's going to go out for a throw for Samoa North. Let's have a look, Brent, at the Sports Max app moment. And it's only one moment, really, yeah, isn't it's, it? It's the goal by Faustin. If you don't succeed at the first time, you try and try again, despite, of course, being impeded there by Lewis. Faustin gets up and slots the ball into the back of the net. Well, here is the ball sent forward. And, uh, well, a total miskick there uh, by Dalrymple. But that was your Sportsmax app moment. And certainly a moment uh, so far to treasure in this game for Trinity College East. They have never won the East Zone Intercall Crown. So this, they are just about seven and a half minutes away. Well, the ball has gone out of play. No, it hasn't. Well, I'm not sure what happened there. Well, it never went out. Yeah. And, and, and I wasn't sure why. You played to the whistle, whistle. Brent. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, the first rule when you play football. You're taught, play to the whistle. Well, how costly can this be? Yep. So, our... Uh, Left-sided corner, Sween is going to take it. Tell you what, if this scores, it, they'll be hurting. And it goes all the way out now for a throw. Sween quickly throwing it in field. For all the good Samoan North has done, Brent, 
if they don't get into that final and this is going to be a card Daniel is going to get a yellow card Josiah Daniel tell you if they don't get into the final Brent you'll have to say that they, they haven't had a, a great season for all the good work they've done top in group A and then undefeated uh, yeah undefeated in the group and then losing in the semi-final the of the league up. and now uh, getting to the final of the East Zone the Coca-Cola East Zone in Tacol and if they lose here it really would not be a great season for them but here's Sween with the free kick the ball that's a good ball headed in. away it goes to Jones it's and he is brought it. down no and the shot coming at day oh it goes wide it took a deflection the shot um, went to Noel Noel deflected it but away from the keeper and it uh, goes outside for a goal kick but that would have been cruel luck well I'm looking at Faustin now going back to play defense and that's not a wise move it's it's not as we have another look at it there I thought Jones would have taken it it eventually falls to Lewis gets a, a deflection on there heavy one by Noel tries to turn it goal one yeah, I can't understand if Faustin has gone I, back to make no defense. Sense, it, makes, it absolutely it makes in, no sense. You're bringing pressure yeah, onto your team. That's right. He, he will be better served as a, a pressure reliever. That's right. Going, let him go forward. Keep, yeah. he, he's been playing up front all the time. Why would you go back in the defense? And there that's he wins. Why. <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose uh, he wins the ball. And now the ball sent downfield. Prince is going to give chase. No, he's given but up the goal. This is where he's missed. <laughs> yep. Because that's where you need him. That's right. And uh, the player is down at the moment. Uh, who is that? Is that Swim? Yeah. yeah. Yes, he's uh, really holding on to his ankle, or no, just the boot. I would say maybe uh, he's uh, the sole of his foot uh, may have been stepped on. There is the coach. He says he said to me, Brent, before the start of the game, I, I said good luck, and uh, he said to me that. Uh, he wants to meet Fatima, his old alma mater. Well, there is the free kick. It's a crunching tackle there by yep. Faustin. Faustin in the defense. May have won that one, but uh, again, I, I still think he's better served relieving the pressure. That's right. Get him up. Because I tell you what, someone know they're going to be pushing up. Numbers looking forward. For, looking for the equalizer. If you got Faustin playing up front and you, you get the, the counter, that could certainly prevent uh, present problems for the Trinity College defense. So we are four minutes away, plus added on time from Trinity College East to be crowned champion. This is where he needed college. That's right. Well, that's a poor ball there from, let's see, the man who uh, came on as a substitute, Dan Clark, was it? Or Romero? Oh, I tell you what. Noel, and it goes just wide. I tell you what, Colin, if he had. Of course, uh, going to the ground with the initial challenge, it may have been a penalty kick. Yeah, it wasn't Noel, actually. It was um, the man that's come on, Dan Clark. Dan Clark, yeah. Well, he, he was challenged there by Whiteman at the back. And uh, he just wondered if he'd hit the surface, yeah. if it would have been a penalty kick. Yep. But it's still he... Correct. He, so that was, Dan, on. that was Dan Clark getting away, having the shot thought it was Noel. Noel would have been more deadly. Yeah. But uh, the ball sent downfield. And uh, trying to win it there is Prince. Or oh, Actually, that was not Prince. That uh, was, uh, let's see, the man who came on as a substitute, it looked like. So the free kick is going to be taken by Lewis. He's no doubt he's going to send it Deep into inside. the area. The heads go up, and it's picked up here by this is oh Noel boy. turning with well it. Well defended. And it cleared downfield, but it goes right back in the heart of the defense. And this is... That's a good ball. Good ball from Mitchell, it's goes wide better. to Thomas. Getting some support, it goes all the way back to Lewis. Lewis sends ball. it into the box, cleared away again, and Trinity College is they're hanging on now. Here. Yep, they're fighting for the one goal lead that they have. This is Guy coming forward with it. Gets it there, uh, looking for Sween. And Sween doesn't go over, but he turns with it again. And he's coming, running at the... And he's that's fouled. A, that's a foul. 
So they've got a free kick. We have two minutes left and added on time. Trinity Colleges, they are leading by one goal to nil. Here goes Sween. Cracks it. It goes wide. They're too far out, Brent. It's uh, really a hit and hope. Yeah. And you just wonder, Colin, we've seen now a, a, an upsurge from Samuel North. Where was this for the entire game? This is all. This is what it needed for the majority of the game, and they didn't do it. And that's why uh, they found themselves a goal down. Well, the ball goes out of play. Guy is going to take the throw. Gets it to goalkeeper Haynes. It's got to get it forward, Colin. Long ball. Oh, that's a poor that's ball. Poor. It's, it's not going to... Oh, well, it's kept in well as it well. In. This is Prince. Can't get control of it. And it's Mitchell looking to come forward with it. It's played back towards Faustin. He's a, he's a central defender now, Brent. Yeah, he's gone back there. But again, it's, it's not helping because the pressure keeps coming back. That's right. So this ball played by ball. Sween up the line for Jones. Jones being confronted. He gets by his man. Does well. Gets by the second. And uh, eventually it's cleared away by Dantler. And it's going to be a corner. They're really turning the screws now. 30 seconds to go. And added on time. Sween is come over to take the corner. Here yeah, are the Trinity East supporters as Sween That's goes deep. to the far post. And Lewis heads it back. And eventually the ball goes. And this is a scramble. Real pinball going on there. And eventually it scrambled away. I for it again. <laughs> we are into the three minutes of added on time. Oh boy. Can Trinity East hold on and win the East zone of the intercall? This is Thomas going up that right side, but Barnwell is there. Bangs it downfield. Look at where Haynes is. He traps it. Gives it to Lewis. No doubt it's going to come right back. But he decides to go wide. It gets it towards Jones. He's coming in field with it. Looking to play it to, towards Noel. It's sent downfield. Haynes is going to give it right back to Lewis. And he, no doubt, is going to send it. Got to go with it long. Yep, this time he's going straight to the heart of the defense. Dal Ripple comes. He can't Risky. hold on to it. I just didn't know why. I, I don't understand why he came. Yeah. Colin. Well, he's got to get up because uh, the referee hasn't seen and play is going on. And here is the cross ball. Headed away. Prince is there, but not before uh, Sween. And Prince, he's doing well. The keeper is way out. He hasn't seen that. As a matter of fact, Making that run, going down the right side. Right. This is Figaro. He's cutting in field with it. Oh, that's a good defensive work from Guy. But Figaro turns him. Figaro. Oh, he plays it straight across the goal. Prince was just outside the six-yard box. You had to think, Brent, he could have done better. Yeah, he could have done better then. And maybe if Faustin was in that position, he would have gotten there. <laughs> well, the ball is coming to goalkeeper Dalrymple. And he goes down on the ground. Holds on to it. He's got to be careful. Yes, yeah, he's uh, he's uh, injured. We've got one minute left probably uh, of added on time. time. And now we're going to have Some more. more added on time to the one yeah. minute of added on time that we have left. So the goalkeeper is down at the moment. Brandon Dalrymple. He's done well. So the physio has gone out. In the meantime, they're making a substitution. They're taking off a defender. I'm a little surprised. Daniel is coming off unless he is feeling a little bit of a knock. And number 21, Karabi, is on. So Karabi is on for Daniel. And we see another substitution. Let's uh, see. It looks as 17 is the man coming on. So the substitution. We now we have played the three minutes of added on time. 
We'll have to wait and see how much more added on time the referee is going to allow. So Dalrymple sends it wide. It comes right back up to the heart of the defense. This is Providence. So Charles, Chase Charles, coming on for Haynes. It's going to be a goal kick, is it? No, a throw. The ball comes, and this time it's going to be a goal kick. That's, that sums up uh, San Juan North's performance today, yeah, Colin. It certainly it's, has. It's really been disappointing, and you harped on the fact that they may look at it as a disappointing season because they promised so much. Of course, they were the opening game of this season's SSFL against Queens Royal College, where they they handsomely beat the Royalians, and you thought then, Colin, that uh, they can go on to greater things. Well, here is Trinity East. We are being we're playing now. A minute over, they added on time. It's sent upfield. Barnwell can't control it. That's Sween is there. That's He's brought down. Now this is a dangerous position because no doubt Sween is going to go off to goal from here. Well, well, I'll go back to the first kick of the game. Yeah, that's where it right. was a lot closer, and he should have gone for that one. Well, what a hero he will be if he was to score this. We are one minute and 30 seconds over the added on time. Sween lines up the ball. There is a four-man wall for Trinity Colleges. I think, Colin, if he hits the target here, he may just get some joy. It's a, a bit of slick on the surface. So here is Sween for Sour North. He hits it and it bounces in front of the keeper who has done very well. It bounced in front of him and he was able to divert it out for a corner. The corner quickly taken. Back to Sween. Sween, look at the coming field with it. Still Sween. Confronted by three yellow shirts. He's still holding on to that ball. He's twisting, turning with it and plays it into the middle. This is Lois. But Lois can't get the better. And there it goes! Trinity College East has done it. They have beaten the favorites here. Sour North. What a victory for the Trinity College East players, the staff, the coach. And uh, there, no doubt, absolutely no doubt, the man of the match has to be the goal scorer. He was a thorn all afternoon long.